Hey guys, what's up? It's Claudia Fernandez and I'm back guys. Today is another Sunday. I'm feeling very blessed. I feel good. You know, I feel happy. And from the title of this video, I want to talk to you guys about healing insomnia. I can't sleep. What do I do? I have insomnia. Oh my goodness, I have to work in the morning. I have to take care of my kids. I have to go to church. I have sporting events. I have meetings, all kinds of things. And insomnia just seems to get in the way of the things that we want to accomplish. So today, I want to come and I want to testify because I too have been a victim of insomnia and I you know little by little i'm i'm conquering it and i'm you know i'm surviving it and i want to help other people i do have to say disclaimer i'm not a physician i'm not a therapist i'm not a doctor so if you do suffer from insomnia or any sleep disorders i would recommend you first talk to your doctors but this is youtube you know the youtube university we try to help and teach each other so today i have like 10 and a bonus i have 10 tips and a bonus of things that i do personally that help me beat insomnia and just to kind of give you a little summary of where I'm at right now with my sleep, I woke up at like 2, 2.30 in the morning today and I got maybe about four to five hours of sleep. But I'm telling myself like, you know what, especially this past week, I've been telling myself, you know what, I might not sleep that many hours, but I'm getting enough rest. So I'd rather sleep for four to five hours, wake up and feel, you know, restored than to sleep 10 hours and still feel tired. So you guys, if you guys want to take that as a tip, you can, you know, just whatever sleep you can get, you know, at least you feel rested. So let's start off with the first thing on my list. I have relax, relax. And how you can relax before you go to bed or in any stressful situation is by calming yourself down, talking peacefully to yourself, and doing some box breathing. So I actually learned about box breathing through a therapist. Um, yes, I took some therapy due to some trauma that, you know, that I'm still healing. So... This advice is from a therapist. So do box breathing. And what that consists of is you basically, you want to breathe in for four counts. So you want to breathe in one, two, three, four. Hold one, two, three, four. And then breathe out one, two, three, four. Okay, so breathe. Number two. Don't think about how stressful sleep has been for you. I know it's stressful, you guys. I know it's frustrating and it makes you feel so alone and disheartened because you're the only one that's suffering it. You feel like you're the only one, but there's so many people in the world that are suffering from insomnia. People just have too much stress, too much worry, and they're suffering from insomnia. They can't sleep at night. They can't get enough rest. So just don't think about how stressful sleep has been for you. Just, I mean, try not to stress yourself out about that. Okay, number three, tell yourself I will sleep again. And I actually want to give credit to my husband on this one because he told me you'll sleep again. And that just stuck with me. It was like the Holy Spirit like planted a little seed in me because... After that, I've had like good sleep, you know, good restful sleeps overall. So tell yourself, I will sleep again. Relax and tell yourself, I will sleep again. Don't think about how stressful it has been. Just tell yourself, I will sleep again. Number four, drink some herbal tea. You know, I actually had to research into this because it was getting a little bad for me. I was like sleeping like at 1 a.m. falling asleep it was taking me like eight hours just to fall asleep 
seven or eight hours just to fall asleep. And so I had to research into this and I actually found a tea called Valerian by Nighty Night. And I shop for mine at Whole Foods, but I also know that Walmart sells it. So just Valerian by Nighty Night or any product by Nighty Night. They have another one that has like, I think it's called Passion Flower. That one works pretty good as well. It promotes sleep. Okay. Number five, something that I do on a regular basis is I listen to sleep meditation. I actually listen to the rain, something that's going to calm my mind down. I listen or or not even calm my mind down, but it's going to speak louder than the voices in my head. So the rain with some headphones, the rain, ocean waves, Psalms for, uh, you can, you can YouTube Psalms for protection. And another one that I recommend on YouTube, you guys, really, he has millions of subscribers. His name is Jason Stevenson. He has millions of subscribers and he's helped millions of people with finding their restful night's sleep. You know, he guides them into sleep. He tells stories. He, um, has our affirm- affirmations, he basically aids you into like, okay, I, I'm here with you. I'm going to help you fall asleep. And you can find him on YouTube. You just type in his name, Jason Stevenson. Number six, sleep in a good environment. You want to sleep in an environment where you feel safe and protected. I know it's hard out there for some of us because either you've been homeless or you're homeless or you're sleeping in your car or or you're sleeping on a couch or you're just like you have roommates or anything like that. I know it's tough, but try to find a good sleep environment. Okay. Number seven, set a bedtime for yourself. If you say you're going to go to sleep at seven o'clock, go to sleep at seven o'clock every night. So your body can adjust to you falling asleep at that time. So you can have enough rest to wake up by a certain time as well. Okay. Number eight, when you're ready for bed, don't text people. Don't get involved mentally in conversations with other people. Just say, hey, I have to go to bed. Good night. Okay, tell people good night. Go to bed. Number nine, something that um, has been helping me and has really been working for these past couple of weeks is I tell myself, don't think. Don't think. Just close your eyes, lay back, relax, and don't think. Okay? Number 10, pray before bed. Okay, and I know this is a touchy subject. Many people might not believe this, but maybe you have demons hovering over you that won't let you sleep. Maybe your conscience is not letting you sleep. Maybe your sins are not letting you sleep. Maybe the relationships that you have with people are not letting you sleep. So you have to make grown up decisions and you have to decide like, Hey, I want to walk with Christ. I want to live a peaceful life. I want to get my sleep back. I want to be able to relax, pray before bed. And the prayer that I do before bed is the Lord's prayer. I actually, I say it in Spanish because I don't have it memorized in English, but I say it in Spanish and that's like, okay, when I say this prayer, this means like I'm preparing myself for bed. Number 11. And this is a bonus. Be grateful for whatever sleep you get. Whatever little sleep you get, be grateful. Say, okay, Lord, I slept for five hours, six hours, eight hours. But you know what? I'm grateful. I'm thankful. I feel rested. You're giving me enough energy to survive this day. Okay? And then I have a little fun fact for you guys. Uh, While I was doing my research on insomnia, I searched that people in Japan searched the most for the phrase can't sleep with 54 searches per 100 people. And then I have one in five U.S. adults struggle to sleep every single night. That's 22%. One in five adults in the U.S. struggle to sleep. That's a lot of people. So today I want to leave you guys with this Bible verse that will give you peace and calmness in your life. It's Psalms 119, 105. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and light unto my path. So you guys just try to memorize the scripture because a lot of the, the when I when I was reading and I was searching about insomnia, a lot of it 
comes from mental issues or stressful situations that we have in life. So we just have to come back and center ourselves to say, okay, the Lord is in control. God is in control. You are, thy word is a lamp unto my feet and light unto my path. So you guys, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys hit that subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything to support this channel, to support this ministry. I'm just trying to spread the word of God, trying to spread the gospel in whatever manner I can. And I know that insomnia is a big topic and a lot of people are suffering from it. So I just hope that I can plant some seeds in your life of things that you can do that will help you and aid you in being able to be peaceful when you fall asleep. Because what's the point of having riches in this world if you can't even sleep right? If it takes you eight hours to fall asleep, if it takes you, you know, you're working so hard for this divine destiny, for this purpose, for this mission, for your kids, for your family, and then you, on top of all of that hard work and labor that you're doing at a, at a job, you can't sleep that is frustrating that is annoying that gets me angry it gets me angry it's like i don't want to play these mind games with myself i just want to go to sleep let's fall asleep so listen to your inner voice and say okay when my inner voice tells me it's time for bed it's time for bed forget about what everybody else is doing if they want to party if they want to drink if they want to do drugs forget about all that Focus on your mission. You need to rest. You need to relax. You need to get sleep so you can accomplish that mission. You can't do nothing without sleep, you guys. So you guys, like I said before, just subscribe to my channel. Like, share this message with somebody that you love and that you care for or somebody that's struggling with insomnia. Help me please to spread the word of God. To Help, help me please to spread the gospel. Help me please to help somebody that is an entrepreneur that is a businesswoman that is a mom a dad and they just need these tips even just by finding out a herbal tea that you can drink number four finding out what kind of drink what kind of tea you can drink to fall asleep that will aid you in falling asleep you don't have to go straight into medication but you know if you get prescribed medication to fall asleep and you want to get off of it try this method try drinking herbal teas okay it will help you it's been helping me you guys drink it 30 minutes before bed and you're all set you're all good to go all right you guys i don't want to make this video too long thank you guys for watching i'm coming back to you guys with another video next sunday by the grace of god please support this channel spread the word and stay blessed you guys amen